Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. Researchers Wins and Nicholas issued a paper on school curricula and climate change in Canada, and it's getting lots of press. Partly because we, Friends of Science, are mentioned in it, because apparently the Manitoba curriculum refers to our work and website, and some people call us deniers. Wins and Nicholas assessed Canadian curriculum content on six points about climate change. One, the science, it's climate. Two, it's warming. Three, it's us, human caused. Four, experts agree. Five, it's bad. And six, we can fix it. Wins and Nicholas think the curriculum developers are failing because in their view, the educational system has not convinced students that climate change is an imminent catastrophe. Education is not about convincing, it's about providing tools and skills for rational, critical thinking. I did an independent review of this paper, and what I found is this. It's climate. Well, as the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, states, climate change is any change in climate which may be caused by human or natural forces or both. It's not us, not all us. It's warming. Well, it has been warming, but right now it's been cooling for three years. And since the late 1990s, there's been no statistically significant change in temperature, despite a dramatic rise in carbon dioxide, the gas that is supposed to cause warming. In fact, after the 2013 IPCC AR5 report, Dr. Judith Curry and many other scientists said the case for human-caused global warming is weakened and that carbon dioxide is not the control knob that can fine-tune climate. So obviously, experts do not agree. And when I looked at Wins and Nicholas' consensus claims, well, I found many incorrect assumptions in their statements, and that all the alleged consensus surveys are deeply flawed, unscientific, and none refer to danger. So Wins and Nicholas also say it's bad as in the Al Gore nightly walk through a book of Revelations bad, claiming natural disasters will befall us. But the IPCC did a special report on extreme weather in 2012, and they said there's little evidence to support the claim that human activity or greenhouse gases like CO2 are driving any extreme weather events. These are just part of nature. We can't stop them. And so no. <laughs> We can't fix it. But here's where Wins and Nicholas tried to sneak in their previous theory of how we might fix it. That we could fix climate just by eating less meat, driving less, flying less, or having one less child. One less child. Imagine telling that to school teachers. You're giving them a pink slip because Canada only has a birth rate of 1.6 children as it is. And in fact, you're advocating for the extinction of our society. <laughs> Imagine advocating to teach that to children in school to make them feel they are responsible for the end of the world. And imagine how silly these notions are when the real emitters are not children, cattle, cars, or planes, but container ships. Each one puts out the pollution of 50 million cars or developing nations, China and India, far outstrip Canada in terms of emissions. But Wins and Nicholas don't say a word about that. Instead, they present their humanicidal doctrine and even go so far as to suggest that climate should never be debated in schools because it's just too confusing for kids. In this age of gender diversity, where youth are encouraged to make life-changing decisions about their orientation, there's no room for climate diversity and discussion in school? And what of the Charter of Rights? Isn't freedom of speech and expression something we should be practicing in schools with open debate on any challenging topic? We have too many horrific examples in history where suppression of freedom of speech led to the deaths of millions. Friends of Science offers scientific and plain language climate change and energy policy materials on our main website, friendsofscience.org, and our plain language youth-oriented bilingual site, climatechange101.ca. 
By the way, we're not the only ones advocating for chilling out on climate hysteria. A new publication in Nature Climate Change calls for the IPCC SR15 authors to publicly speak up and stop the fear of the world ending in 12 years. The report never said that. That's just media headline and celebrity spin. So Friends of Science advocates for open civil debate on climate and energy policies and an end to climate emergency hysteria, especially in schools. Science is about inquiry, not compliance. So have a look at my paper and join the debate on our social media in English or French. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling.